This is the blood donation department in the Ohmadit Children's Hospital. After the lecture, the officers went to donate blood. Our department is the Department of School Police Officers. We're doing our best to decrease the number of tragedies on the roads. We give lectures in schools and universities. Before donating blood, you are not allowed to drink alcohol or eat fatty or spicy foods. In addition, you should have a good night's sleep before going to the clinic. Every donor has to undergo a medical checkup. We do a general blood test, biochemical tests and establish blood type. If everything is fine and there are no poor indications, the potential donor is sent to a different room. We have written the blood type, have the biochemistry results, and so we do a printout. It will be attached to the donor's file. Those who are allowed to donate blood sit on a deck chair. They say that the process itself is painless. No, it's not hard at all. We're not losing anything, yet saving lives of other people. It is important to remind people of the necessity to donate blood, since without the replacement therapy with blood components, it is sometimes impossible to save the lives of our little patients. Patrol police officers say that both drivers and pedestrians can cause traffic accidents. The main reason for this is people ignoring traffic regulations. There are many situations where people jaywalk if we're talking about pedestrians. At the same time, drivers commit many offenses just because, as I believe, they lack legal conscience and self-discipline. The school police officers have traffic safety events a few times a year, but you can donate your blood year-round. Reported by Vitaly Bakumenko, UATV.